Hello everyone, happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! We are here because we are talking about how with Jesus all things are possible. Right? Okay. All right. So we have a needle, sewing needle. See that? Now, right up at the top, can you see that little hole? That is called the eye. The eye. It's the eye of the needle. So we can thread, thread through the eye of the needle. And it fits. Even though it's a really, really small eye, it fits that tiny string. So, do you think we could fit this? Through the eye of the needle? No? Hmm. Well, Jesus talks about today in our story fitting a camel through the eye of a needle. Yeah. So we are going to go read from our World Storybook Bible, and then we are going to come back and see if we can fit this through the eye. Everything's possible for God. A man ran up to Jesus. Teacher, the man panted. I want to live with God forever. How can I be part of God's kingdom? You know God's rules, Jesus reminded him. Don't kill anybody. Don't take things that aren't yours. Don't lie. Honor your father and mother. The man was excited. I followed those rules since I was a kid. Jesus looked at the man and loved him. You must do something else too, Jesus said. Sell everything you have and give the money to the poor and come and follow me. The man hung his head and walked away. He didn't want to sell his things. The disciples were surprised. Sell everything, they asked? Jesus explained. It's easier for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than for people to enter God's kingdom if they love their possessions and their money. You have to love God more than you love your things. If we do all those things, we will live with God forever, wondered the disciples. It's not about what you do. It's about God, Jesus replied. You aren't in charge of who enters God's kingdom. God is in charge, and with God, all things are possible. With God, the first will be last, and the last will be first. That was a really tricky story, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of information in there. So it started by a rich man coming to Jesus, and he wanted to be part of God's kingdom. And Jesus said, sell all your stuff, and you can be part of God's kingdom, because you have to put God first. How do you think that man felt? Um... Do you think he wanted to sell all his stuff? No. No, that's really, really hard. And Jesus knew that was hard. He said it's easier to get a camel through the eye of a needle than it is to get into God's kingdom if you love all the things you own more than God. Hmm. Hmm. But at the end, he had a really cool message. He said, if you love God, anything is possible. Even getting this piece of fabric through this needle. So what's really, really cool about fabric is it's actually made up of tiny pieces of thread. Let's see if I can get one out. And if you're patient, you can pull apart a piece of, thread, um, a piece of fabric and get all sorts of thread, which will now fit through the eye. I don't think that one's gonna go that end. It will now fit through the eye of the needle. So if we were patient and we change this piece of fabric slowly and surely, there we go, we could get all of that fabric through the eye of the needle, right? Mm -hmm. So if we put God first and we love him and we are willing to change and put him first, we can get to, into God's kingdom, right? And we might look a little different because we've learned along the way how to be a better person. So we might look a little different, but all of that fabric will manage to get through. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I have a craft for you. Or no, I don't have a craft for you. I have an activity for you. All right, you ready? Okay. Here's your piece of paper. Get a piece of paper and some scissors. That's all you're allowed, nothing else. And I want you, I am challenging you to put yourself through the piece of paper without changing the paper. 
So it still has to be paper when it's done. It can't be glued, it can't be taped, but you can change its shape in order for you to get through. And it all has to be there. Every single piece of this paper. Huh. Okay, so hit pause. We're gonna take a break. And when we come back, I will show you how to do it. All right, what did you come up with? This. Okay, that's pretty good. It's all still one piece. You only cut. Can you get your whole body through it? No. No. Hmm. All right, you wanna see what I came up with? Yeah. Ready for this? Do, 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 do. Ta-da! Nice. Now one big circle that you can get your whole body through. Pretty neat, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So this just is a great reminder of the story that we need to change how we act and how we behave and follow God's word to enter the kingdom of God. But we're still the same, but we're a little bit different, right? We're just yeah. a different shape. So we do have to work to change ourselves, just like this piece of paper had to work and we had to do a little bit of work on it to change it, to create something new. That's what we have to do to enter God's kingdom. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty, stay tuned at the end of the video and I will teach you how to do that so you can amaze all of your family and friends on this Thanksgiving weekend. You could challenge them too. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, bye. All right, here is how I did that. First thing I did is I folded the paper in half. Now, starting from the folded edge, you are going to cut, but not all the way. Right? You want to leave a bit of that paper. Now you're going to go and cut from the other side. And again, leave an edge. And you're going to zigzag all the way down the paper. Now you want to make sure that this end also has like the fold on it, right? So the very last piece on either end has your folds. Now these ones, we're going to cut the folds. So all the ones in the middle, we want to cut the folds, but not the end ones. The end ones have to stay there. So you cut all of those folds. And remember, leave that last fold. And then when you open it up, you have a big giant circle that you can pass through. You are now the camel that fits through the eye of the needle. <laughs>